Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to Tassant in the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Blood and Wine DLC. And let me tell you guys, I had not been able to play for a couple of weeks, and I am beyond excited to dive back in. I'm also playing this on my new GTX 1080, so if you guys have a browser that supports it, be sure to crank this video up to 60 FPS and 1440p because that is what I am actually playing and recording with using Shadowplay. It takes forever to render, upload, and process, but hopefully you guys will enjoy the additional graphics fidelity. What we're going to do today, guys, is take a break from the main quest because the last couple episodes were main quest focused and I'm gonna work on some of this new armor here in the DLC. To do so, I'm gonna assume that it's going to start here at this armor shop with the exclamation mark. Greetings. A witcher from the school of the wolf here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafarge. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Brother. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for Witcher armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Hm. Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, i rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. What do you have on offer? Let me actually see what this guy has because I haven't been in here before, figuring that this would actually be the start to the Grandmaster quest. Okay, so of course, as you might figure, hits armor. And for now, I'm going to stick with my, I think, Viper armor. All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tucson. How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sail, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, uh, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. Oh, wow. So I heard the stories of the missing witches firsthand. What he told me, well... That is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Well, that's pretty fair. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, 
Until I complete Witcher armor of Grandmaster quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Well, I think I can help with that. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which Ooh. should I start with? Manticore. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Okay, that makes sense. Um, let's just do one more school for now. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bare-head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True. This one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed. The bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. Okay. I'm gonna come back for I'd the like rest. I'd to ask you about something else. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Manticore. Go to the ruins of Bastoy Prison. Where is that going to take us? Ooh. Way past the palace. Well, I don't think I've actually ridden up there while recording with you guys. I did when I was recording some of the free camera stuff for my cinematic blood and wine video. So I will ride up there now. You guys can enjoy the sunset. Excuse me, peasants, coming through. <laughs> yeah, that is one impressive castle for sure. Around here, it's wine, wine, Can I run? Uh, I can't quite gallop, it looks like. Excuse me. <laughs> so if I'm remembering correctly, I should be able to get to the top at the back entrance to the castle and then take, yep, this road right here. 
down into the valley. What a view. Uh, if only I was healthy. Ooh. Uh. Run, Roach. Not oh wow, so there's fast, some serious Roach. cliffs here too. I gotta watch my step. This looks dangerous. <laughs> easy, Roach. Easy. Okay. So we're going to go left here and then up into the hills. Oh, what is this? me off to death, Drifter. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Name's Geralt. No crest, no motto, no plumed helmet even. <laughs> I'm a witcher. Mind telling me why you're here? For the head of Grotori, the monster from yon cave. I swore on my honor I would bring it to my betrothed, mount it on a pike. Mm -hmm. Made any progress? I've... Um, <clears throat> I've been gathering my strength. I shall attack soon. I gave my word, and my word is my honor. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I, I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all, I... I suppose you're right. We must fight side by side then. For honor. Yep, for coin. Coin. <laughs> Name of the quest. Feet cold as ice. Wait, let's talk about my paycheck. Should be the one to lop off its head. We gotta kill it first. Hmm, strange. No sign of Gratori. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around. Gratori. Okay. Let me see if my journal has any information on what we might be facing here. <laughs> the quest description. Few know just how nosy Geralt actually is. He rarely takes the path more frequently traveled, choosing instead to scale mountains, forge through dense brush, and traverse many a wilderness. Yep, that's definitely how I play. Well, no word on what monster this might actually be, so I guess we'll just investigate. Impressive. You'd think you were in a winter garden. Ooh. Copper ore. Impressive. You'd think you were in a winter garden. I hear something for sure. Let me look around some more first. Cradle filled with children's shoes. Haven't I ever seen a collection of this grotesque? Ooh. Toussaint Ducal Guardsman's Steel Sword. Not 
amazing. Not terrible either. Bones, small skull, fontanelle's not completely closed. An infant, about a year maybe. Oh. Okay, so he was hard to hear through his armor, but apparently this monster is known for consuming children, babies. Various sundries, some tools. Gratori must have taken them from its victims. Geralt, take the Gwent cards. Come on now. So that's the cave exit. That's the second cave exit. It's our brave knight. Let me go ahead and take a cat potion so I can see. Enhanced cats. Oh, is the tree itself this movie? Now that I can see. Something on the other side. Can't hope to get through. Better sort your side. Look at this. Clear as day now. Spriggan. Gotta be. Seems to be off somewhere, probably feeding. Need to lure it. Uh, very well. To work then. Gods, thy will be done. Spriggan. Let's see what we have here in the bestiary. Retore. Spriggans usually prefer isolated backwoods and rarely make dens in caverns. Yet Gratore seemed to have taken a liking to grottos. The monster was well known among Beauclair knights. Okay. Demetrian bomb, relict oil, and igni. So it sounds like this is a very ancient monster being under relics. Ah, we can lure him by setting fire to his plants, or her maybe. my sword out here. Put out the fire <laughs> on myself. Oh. <laughs> Dramatic sword draw number two. Okay guys, let's figure out our potions and take this seriously. Let's start out with the oil. Enhanced relic oil. I'll do Dimaterium. Yeah, Dimaterium for the second bomb. Combining strikes, what kind of decoction do we want to use? Let's do increased critical hit chance. Ooh, poison plants too. This has suddenly gotten a lot brighter. I'm regretting this cat potion now. Oh wow. 
Time for a swallow. That was a good critical hit. Oh. Stupid poison plants. At least cat wore off there. I keep targeting all of the uh, poison plants instead of the monster. Alright, I gotta get back and heal now. Let's try our Dimaterium Bomb to keep him from teleporting around so much. Oh, he's in the fire, that's awesome. Oh, now I'm in the fire. He's really hard to dodge around. Ooh, my own magic is blocked now. Enjoy some whirl, and he's gone again. Oh, he got into the fire, yes! Well, that went pretty well. By my troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You aided me greatly. Please, you must accept this trifle as a token of my gratitude. A hundred and fifty crowns, come on now. Why the challenge? Couldn't have gone after something less formidable? A werebub, for instance? Uh, why? For... For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... You're blushing, Sir Knight. <laughs> oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another but two years. So I bowed to slay Gratori. Thought it would buy me time to battle such a beast why it could take months. Oh no, what have I done? Mm -hmm. Especially at the rate you were going. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another, more terrible beast. He's gonna get himself killed. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. <laughs> You are blind to my predicament. Once I return, I will have no recourse. She'll drag me to the nearest shrine while... Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels... All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters. Witches work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work. That you're just not cut out for. Wanna prove your valor? Go back to your betrothed and be honest. Tell her you're not ready to marry. You do not mince words, Master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground, or a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time... time I returned home. Well... Hopefully, it works out for him, but either way, at least he won't be dead. An eighth. Ooh, what is that sword? A 
have to wait until level 45, but that is a massive improvement over my current sword. Are you kidding me? Plus 78? Three rune slots? It's amazing. I haven't gotten a good silver sword in forever. I am super glad that I went off the beaten path here, guys. What is this? I must have killed one of those uh, arch spores by accident. Can I get up here? Didn't think so. Gold nugget, nice. Sue into mushroom. Formula, green armor die, nice. And I know I saw some ore in the walls back here somewhere. Where is it? Might just be copper, but... No Strix. Loot and a patched up vest and false teeth. Ah, there it is. Just a bit more copper, but I'll take it. Okay, Roach. Enough side adventuring for now. Let's get the right quest selected here. Treasure hunts. That should be it. Manticore gear. And we'll just travel by moonlight here, it looks like. Oh. <laughs> right after I stop and see what the good knight left behind. Desant Knight's gauntlets. Some food. Florence. Oh, personal letters. Okay, that's a cool touch. We gotta read. My darling Francis, already a week has passed since my eyes last behold your fail visage. My beloved, I know important nightly matters keep you, yet pray tell, my sweet, how can you bear the horrible agony of our separation? Mama asks every day when you shall next pay us a visit. Papa says he can't wait for you to kneel before him and ask for my hand. I tell you a thousand times, yes, yours and forever. Jacquette? Oh no, I don't know if I saved this guy or set him up for a lifetime of misery. Dear Jacquette, I have thought and thought and finally have it. In order to fully deserve you, I must first prove to myself that I am worthy of the tremendous honor of winning your hand. I swore a vow, the head of Grator. Uh, do not seek to find me, but watch for my glorious return. Respectfully yours. Uh, I mean, at least he won't be dead, right? That's funny, the game still thinks he's there, snoring. Hey -ya. <clears throat> okay, I see some ruins up there and some tents too, that's interesting. What do we have here? Uh, 
slower. Hunters, it looks like. Hey, I'll be king my of my heart. That's too sorry. How are you, kiss her? Do you poke her too, uh, Gerald? Uh, oh, Rust. <laughs> Gerald. I hopped up a bit of sick. That's Tucson in a nutshell. I knew I lived once. He stole Okay, my so it's just a hunter's camp. You're not afraid of the blessed beast, are you? Your breath. It smells Power like you've been eating corpse, friend. Well, that's too, rude. <laughs> he keeps calling me Gerald. That's amazing. Bastoy prison ruins. I wonder if I'll find anything Merton left behind here. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Come on. Enough of your teleporting BS. Oh! She dodged the sword stab! That was amazing! Again? Let's get Quinn up here. Get some health back. Wow, she's fast. That is legitimately terrifying, guys. Oh, wow. I'm gonna go ahead and take a swallow. Some fancy footwork you have there. That's my last swallow potion. Oh! Hey, my ears ring. Tell you what, guys, can I replace the oil on my sword with some nice vampire oil I can got a little overconfident there. You know what? Let's try Yurden. I want to see if I can slow her down with that. Come on. Gotcha. Oh. I froze her with that last blast of Ard. That's a dramatic death. <laughs> well, that definitely startled me to turn the corner and see a Alp vampire just standing over a body. Okay, my silver sword's in okay shape. Need to get my uh, swallow potions back though. Clerk's diary and old key. Oop, wrong button. Fragment of a journal soiled with blood and spinal fluid. Just another day as a clerk at the Ducal Treasury. Wow, he's talking about his breakfast. Shuffle some parchments, head for home before dusk. 
the normal order of things was disturbed today, though, dramatically. Found a highly interesting note in the archives along with a key. Found a report outlining procedures for the reform of Bastoy Prison. Order straight from Duke Henry Grass. We are all aware how badly this experiment ended. For the ruins of that prison to this day frighten any potential tourists with their battered skeletons. And legends about howling spirits of the murdered guards. And there's a chest and he found the key for it, it looks like. One of the clerks employed here at the time committed a sin of omission and sent the chest to the warden without the key. Perhaps for the best because the warden was impaled and the guards all skinned alive. Must have been a prison riot. Folks say a curse has fallen on that place, but folk also say an Ophiri will become Emperor of Nilfgaard and herald the end of the world. Well, probably should have believed the rumors, or at least not gone to a supposedly haunted former prison at night. Let's see if we can find this chest. Oh, you know what? Let's pull my torch back out. I just about threw it aside when I turned the corner and saw that vampire standing right there. I'm just holding a torch like a moron. Anything back here? Oh. It's a... Oh, there's the small chest. I was going to say, that's a huge crate. Ooh, a note in the wall. I embezzled and I stole. I admit this and I am ashamed of my actions. What was I to do? My salary was laughably meager. And he was borrowing coin from his mother. Um, but he claims to have done a great deal of good for the palace library despite being a thief. Theft and embezzlement mean nothing. A man's true value shows in the manner in which he treats books. An interesting argument or defense for being a thief, I guess. Uh, some gauntlets. Gnomish whetstone. Black armor die. Yes! Okay. Got diagrams for ducal guard captain's armor. Some crafting supplies, a lot of crowns, a formula for converting mutagens, and a work order. An order for the reorganization and reform of Bastoy Prison. The warden is required to implement the following reforms, and it's by the decree of his illustrious grace, so that would be the Duchess's father. Dismiss half the staff. Forbid the use of corporal force against the inmates. Discontinue punishment by dark cells, limited rations and flogging. Permit the possession of private property for the prisoners. Allow the prisoners to walk at will. Purchase the finest victuals and hire a teacher to instruct in reading and writing. Wow, so those reforms were well-intentioned, but led to the complete massacre of all the guards, it sounds like. Let's get back on our treasure hunt. Oh man, 
hiding the UI for that view right there, guys. That is something else. Okay. Ouch. Let's focus. Search the ruins. Not quite sure where to look here, guys. Wait. Oh, there's a false step under this door. Notes of a death row convict. Uh, the sun is now rising. Uh, he's going to be taken to the gallows. Yes, I killed him. Until now, I have lied in an attempt to avoid punishment. But he was a bad man who deserved death. The gods make the final judgment. May the gods watch over my soul. Oh. Man, that's a wild amount of detail. That's not even related to the vampire or our treasure hunt. Just a little extra hidden note. I'm wondering here, is that marker on the map actually useful? Or is it just a starting location? Oh wait, wait. Aha, I see a platform here. Easy Geralt, easy. Nice, up here in the tower. Wrong button there. Got some linen and a rope. And a hidden stone. Diagram. Manticore steel sword. And the journal. My fellow captive Merton, who for so many months kept his neck stiff, and uh, Merton of course is the Witcher. He mocked my faith in Le... Labodia? Boida. And praised the joys of a riotous life. Today he broke down completely. He had... He admitted he had wasted his God's given time on pleasures of the flesh. And all he had to show for it were chains and indignities. I tried to lift his spirits to tell him there is another path. That he can cast off his past habits and devote his life to Laboida and his teachings. For now, my counsels have fallen on deaf ears, but I believe he will one day convert. Uh, some writing that he can't read. Well, I guess that Geralt can't read. And then the next entry says, it's shocking how pleasantly I now converse with Merton. To think we once could not bear each other's presence. He is a man transformed. What rapture is that in this dank and dark dungeon? The prophet sent me a sinner and gave my life meaning. And then much later, it is over. Merton has served his sentence and left these accursed dungeon walls. The teachings which I have tried to pass on to him during these last dozen months have clearly taken root. He has vowed to go on a pilgrimage which will let him cast off his old ways and open the doors for a new life. As I advised, he will go first to a cave where Laboida received enlightenment and on whose walls he carved four of his great truths. I hope the aura of that place will help Merton as it has helped many before him, achieve cleansing and gain strength. And continue on his pilgrimage, and then that's all we can read. Notes in the journal suggest that straight out of prison, Merton went to the legendary cave. Labiota was supposed to have hunkered down there once. That's my next destination. Okay. Well, first though, guys, I think I'm going to sleep until daytime. Should be pretty safe up here. I guess 
Geralt meditates. He does not sleep. Get all my potions back. And where is our cave going to be? Oh man. All the way across the map. So, I'm going to start our journey. Let's not fall off the edge though. And I'll go just a ways and then I'll go ahead and fast travel. Who's this? How you like that silver? Forktail. Ow. Oh yeah, you're bleeding now, aren't you? Let's get him with a northern wind bomb. Oh, it didn't freeze him. Let's try fire instead. Wow. There we go. Love that slow motion mod. Where are you going? Oh, you're still on fire. Nice try. There's the fork tail. And that did the trick. Wow, he is pretty crazy looking. That's a very bright green scaly skin. Okay, Roach, it's safe. You can come out now. Where are you? Oh, first though, we got to get up here and look at this sunrise. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Go away, UI. That is just beautiful, guys. Man. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and fast travel from the nearest signpost. Yes, hello, Roach. And we'll go all the way across the map and get things set up for the next bit of our treasure hunt. And here we go, guys. I'm now in the eastern part of Toussaint near the hunting lodge where I did some main quest stuff just recently. This time we're going to take the left path, avoid those foglets up ahead. Oop. Fall off that ridge. Come on, Roach. And hopefully get through here without getting mauled. That's a big pack of wolves. That's a panther. That's two panthers. Uh... He followed me out of that canyon. Come here, you. Come on, Roach, keep up. Go, Roach, go. Gallop! Oh, he changed sides. Clever girl. That is going to take forever. Let me get him with Axie. 
I was trying to do my heavy hit, but I don't think I actually have that uh, unlocked. Ow, that was right in the face. Nice miss, Geralt. <laughs> Oh, that mid-air art hit, that was perfect. Slow down. Let's put Yurden down. Whoa! If that slow down, I hate to see his full speed. Gotcha. Not fast enough for a Witcher. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention, guys, I do realize that I have a level up available, but I'm not going to do it while recording. So I haven't quite decided what I'm going to focus on next. The cave Merton mentioned. Need to look around. Actually, I tell you what. I will not do that level up until after this episode goes live so you guys can suggest which perks I should work on next. More of the new mutagens or bringing back some stuff like the strong attack that I forgot I no longer had. Slips of paper all over. Prayer on each one. Maybe Merton left one too. May Jean Luc be struck down and his bowels devoured by cholera. Oh my. He's a harlot's blood. <laughs> Please let my son Julian reach Kavir safely. Let him find a little lady at last, one well-born with ample tracts of land. Is that one right there a map of Tassant? I'm gonna go into the free cam mod and see. Oh, it's a map of the Witcher world! It's from the, uh, the Witcher 3 uh, art book. I actually have a cloth version of that map from the Collector's Edition. It's pretty sweet. Yes, I am robbing a holy site. As Geralt does. Remember to seek moderation in all things. <laughs> For whosoever shall abuse these pleasures shall awake the next morn in great pain with a pounding head and a wilted member, referring to drink and vittles and pleasures of the flesh. <laughs> Do not unto thy neighbor what thou thyself deemest unpleasant. Wow, that is worded awkwardly. Unless thy neighbor hath done thee sorely wrong and rife with vileness were his deeds. Not quite the golden rule. Please bless mummy with good health. Make her well and make her never get so awful pissed again. <laughs> make my fields yield bounties. Save them from floods and drought, but only my fields, mind you. My neighbor has had enough luck of late. Okay, I can't resist, guys. I gotta see if I can actually get to where that uh, grate is up there. Because one of the cool things, as you can see right here, about The Witcher 3 is there's no load screens for interiors. You just go right outside. So if I can just hop up the cliffside here. Oh, crap.
Geralt, put the torch away. There we go. Ow. I hate these spiders. They're dividing, conquer. On some fire. Ooh, ooh, big one. Oh, that got him. I froze him instantly. Oh, <laughs> way to go, girl! Hit the tree. Are you kidding me? Oh, Ard kills them instantly and sends them flying. Which is good because I really hate fighting these things. Ow. I almost knocked him off the cliff. Well, that's good to know because in the Hearts of Stone DLC, these spiders definitely killed me a couple times. Very glad that my new art abilities actually can put a stop to their shenanigans. <laughs> I just wanted to find the ceiling grate. And sure enough, there it is. That's so awesome! It's like a safety grate. And I guess for lighting down below. I just love how connected the, you know, the caves and the interiors are to the outside world in The Witcher 3. It's a pretty impressive uh, feature in my opinion. Okay, back on task. This is a serious cave, too. It's really, really deep. Got three notes here. Thou shalt always speak the truth, unless the truth is not well served by being spoken, in which case thou shalt lie. No wonder this religion is popular basically just the ultimate self-serving do what you want when you want for you let me be beautiful shapely alluring and always youthful and may lice gnaw on that strumpet Mariah's fat hiney Bobette already asked Maletally I've been to the druids and nothing so maybe you, great Laboida, will hear my prayer. I want to be old, ugly, and fat, for I'm sick and tired of staring at all these fair folk. They're as dull as ditch water. I at least aspire to be interesting. Oh, well, that's interesting for sure. Merton's Prayer. Bless me with strength that I may never falter. Bless me with grace, that I may never doubt. Bless me with fortitude of spirit, that I can leave behind the old and embrace the new with courage. I, Merton, a member of the Guild of Witchers named after the Manticore, begin this day my pilgrimage here in this very cave where, for three and twenty days and three and twenty nights, Laboida fasted and meditated. I vowed to atone for my sins, etc, etc. I shall thus now journey to the temple of Laboida to meet with the great beggar, a sage who has pondered the pearls of Laboida more than anyone else in this sad veil of tears. I will listen to his counsel. There we are. Merton wrote a prayer on the back of the diagram. Seems he left the prison, came here, then went on to the temple. 
Oh, and that was the armor diagram. That's cool. He actually wrote the prayer on the back of what he had on hand, which of course was one of his armor diagrams. It's a nice touch. I think Roach, yeah, she's still hanging out up here. Although I think my Roach is actually a stallion, not the usual mares that Geralt traditionally rides because it was a gift from Emperor Amir in the main quest of the base game. Let's take a look though guys, cause we're about out of time, probably past out of time, and we gotta go all the way back to Laboida's temple next. So yeah guys, we're gonna stop here for today, and we'll pick up next time with the last bit of the treasure hunt for the Manticore armor. I know it's got four sections left, but hopefully We'll be able to stay focused a bit more next time and uh, not go off on too many of these little mini uh, side quests that you constantly run into here in The Witcher 3. Uh, not that I'm complaining, I love just dynamically wandering along on a treasure hunt and finding a knight in need or a monster in need of slain. I hope you guys have enjoyed, I know I definitely have, it is great to be back and hopefully I'll be able to record a few of these more often. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all next time.